Yeah. It's week number three for Kelly J. My name is Jody Bunting, yes. and this is our six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi, Kelly. Hello. So, what is the news on the scales this week? So, seven pounds lost. Um, and I am very, very bloated today. So I do feel like this time next week, if I can do another two, that there will be, an, I, I do believe that there's going to be more because I, I feel heavy today. But today at work, three people said, you look like you've lost weight. And a dress that I've worn previously that that's, was tight is is baggy in in air, like in areas not really baggy obviously yeah. but at least I feel like a dress size I do feel like it's a dress size particularly around my back so that is often where I lose weight first like back fat right there and my husband said I look like he can see it on my waist and he sees me every day so yeah. he's noticed something on my waist which is great and that always spurs you on I think when people notice that's the drive I think that you need to just carry on with it and what have you done differently this I week feel. I haven't done anything particularly differently I have tracked so I found that I'm eating more because when I track I'm not eating as much as I think I should be so yeah. then I'm eating a little bit more of something even if I'm not feeling hungry but then I'm actually then maybe having some natural yogurt extra because then it's got it's got the protein protein in, but yeah. the calcium yeah. in it and it's got some calories in it's got some good fat almost yeah so absolutely. I've just been doing an extra at lunch my husband said like I'm making more for lunch I have introduced I've had um I have to remember what it's called. Was it tofu? Yeah, it was tofu, but it was spiced already. Almost like it reminds me, you know, fridge raiders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't like those, but in a salad with light dressing, plus my olives and my beetroot and a bit of half an egg, it's just giving it a little bit of something else and it has the consistency of meat. So I feel like I might, I could use that with a sauce in an evening. Perfect. I'll see if it grows on me. Yeah. But I've done that this week. I'm trying to think what else I've written down. We had venison um, burger last night, which oh. is really low in fat, and I had mine with salad. I'm not really a burger lover. I think I've mentioned it. Mince yeah. knocks me sick. But it was really tasty and really moist, and there was no gristle. Or, so I quite enjoyed that. I'll try that Perfect. again. I'm looking. Yeah, just a lot more protein at lunch times and for breakfast. So, like, boiled egg tomato and then the next day half an avocado then yeah. I had boiled egg and tomato again and then when I'm having soup tomorrow I'm going to just have a little salad of tuna and cucumber with some balsamic on just to bulk the, all those vegetables up so, so it yeah. sounds like you're eating more regularly as well yeah because I want to I want to I know that not eating enough calories is just as bad as having too many yeah Absolutely. And I'm not feeling I'm not feeling drained in the afternoon. It's it's quite bizarre, but it's good. I've still got the pep in my step, even though I don't look it now. I feel about 97 right now, so it's oh. fine. I don't mind. You fresh I don't out the mind. You fresh out the bath. I know. Day at work, so no problem. <laughs> I had a question for you actually. Yes. So this weekend, it's my birthday weekend. It's my birthday on Sunday. I'm going out for a meal on Friday night with mum and uh, mother-in-law and husband. Saturday, we're going to the races. So it's going to be alcohol mostly, I think. Obviously with food. And then yeah. Sunday, going seeing my dad and having something to eat. I'm best sticking to fish, aren't I? Like fish that isn't battered. That's my best hope, isn't it? Yeah, or a, you're not really what a stick fan, are you? And stick away from, stay away from the... I like steak, but I like it very rare and I like to fill it very rare. It's often not cooked properly. I have to have a very heavy blue cheese sauce with it and I have to have chips to dip in the sauce. Therefore, I stay away from the steak because right. of everything that I like with it. So, yeah. 
definitely stay away yeah. from the steak. Um, yeah. But yes, your going for the fish option is definitely the, the best option. You know, with some maybe some new potatoes, salad, roast vegetables, there's lots of options. Yeah. And hopefully, because it's going to be hot this weekend as well, you just feel like having a nice piece of fish with some salad. Light, yeah. That's what I'm going to go with, I think. It's everybody else's fault. I didn't want to do anything. Which day is your actual birthday? Sunday. The Sunday. Okay. Sunday. So, and I was, yeah. Sorry, go on. I was just going to say, if you do really feel like having a treat, then maybe on Sunday in particular, maybe you should have something that you fancy. Maybe. But I, I know myself very well. And I just probably wouldn't stop. So. <laughs> the alcohol at the races, what is that going to be? I think I should, and I would normally because it obviously we're leaving at half past midday. It's going to be quite a long sort of day, and I would normally just stick to prosecco, but I think I'm going to just stick to like gin and diet tonic or like a diet lemonade. I yeah. just worry because spirits are just not good for your insides, and I can drink a lot of spirits. So. Um, yeah, that's probably a longer drink as well, I think, whereas Prosecco goes down too easily. Yes, I think that's so, right. And obviously have kind yeah. of a, a double mixer with a single shot, if you can. I'm not telling you to have a pint of gin and tonic, but... <laughs> OK, yeah. Jody says, drink pints <laughs> and straws. Yeah. Jody says it's your birthday, go for it now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you actually have evidence now you've got video evidence that you didn't tell me to do that but because you know what it's like when you the excitement of the races especially when you win you just knock it back as well don't you so yeah having, yeah <laughs> having a bigger drink is definitely uh a good thing so you can't knock yeah. it back like a shot <laughs> okay I will keep that. I'll bear that in mind. And then the hangover the next day makes you feel like, oh, I feel so terrible. I'm so fragile. I should eat whatever I want yeah. right now to feel better. And I don't so want to feel like where, that. Because remember, alcohol is basically, it turns into a carbohydrate. So it's really important yeah. to have protein before you have alcohol. And also it's important to have protein the next day as well, first thing, just to help you feel a bit more stable and in control again. So that is my yeah. bit of advice for alcohol. I'm going to write it. Is someone going to make you a cake? No, I'm not a cake. I'm not a sweet tooth. Oh, oh, that's okay then. Remember, I wasn't a sweet tooth till I got older. But again, with this this new thinking about things, I'm not eating like I have done before, like the sweet yeah. things. But it wouldn't even cross my mind to have a cake. Right. Three weeks ago, I probably would have been like, oh, yeah, there'll be cake. <laughs> which is quite bizarre that I'm not even it doesn't interest me really fantastic and that just goes to oh, show that's a good how, idea Pro it goes to show how quick that your taste buds can change yeah because it, it does and, and at the moment being all hormonal normally I would want lots of different things but I don't I'm just too tired yeah I just want to go to bed but I know I do need to eat so tonight <laughs> I'm just going to have seeded brown bread toasted with tin tomatoes on because that's what i fancy yeah and it's not anything too ridiculous yeah and it will fill me so i'm not going to wake up tomorrow starving and think oh let's buy a <laughs> dodo i don't know yeah um, so yeah so that's my focus this weekend i'll be able to let you know it goes on tuesday when i'm 45 oh it's awful that's like midlife. It really, really is, isn't it? Well, in a game of bingo, it's halfway there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. OK, so I will keep that in mind then. So what is your goal for next week? Well, I've got to keep going. Well, I'm not on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking another th at least a three. At least. Really? OK. At least, because I reckon two of what I'm carrying now is because I'm hormonal. Yeah. Well, hopefully really... you naturally get that off then. And so three will be quite easily for next week. Yeah, because then that's only a one, really. If I'm, I'm... Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Fab. I always say this, don't I? And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> right, this, enjoy this your birthday. One. Thank you so much. Enjoy the races and we will catch up next week. Yep. And next week I'll look even thinner. Great. I look forward to well, it. Hopefully more energy. <laughs> And not more right. Okay, thank you, Jodie. I'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.